Hey everyone, have you noticed this system data eating up your storage? Today I'm showing you not one, but three methods on how to delete them. Let's go! The first method involves going straight into the storage settings. As you can see I have 82 gigs of system data. Go into documents and file browser. Here you can see library, the most system data hides there. TomTom, Tom, that's from an old uh, GPS. I don't need that. And just look around on what you need and what you don't need. For example, Adobe. If you use Adobe, anything from Adobe, you're gonna have a lot of caches from it and a lot of system data. And that's just gonna keep piling up. So you can regularly delete those. Uh, you can take a look in containers, Safari, I'm not gonna touch that for now, but the Arduino, I can delete that no problem. The rest of the folders are really not that big, so I'm not gonna delete those, but this Gradle can go away. And also, we're gonna delete the Lightroom library too. As you can see here, the uh, folder application support is it's grayed out you can't ex access it that's why method number two comes in press shift command period and you can see and access the hidden folders and also the application support if you open application support you can uh, view it in a list and filter by size if it's easier for you And if you highlight a folder, for example, disk drill, you can see the size on the right side. And here are the four culprits for the most system data storage. Application support, caches, containers, and group containers. Have a look at those four. As you can see, I'm deleting a couple of things here. Just only things that I don't need. And let's take a look at our storage again. As you can see, we have 210 gigs, but we still have to empty the bin. After emptying the bin, we have 191 gigs used. Method three involves disk drill. Disk drill is a free software that works really good for this. I've used it a lot of times. The link is in the description. So just open disk drill and go to cleanup and choose your SSD. It's Macintosh HD and just start the scan. The scan takes around 20 seconds. And here you're welcomed by this awesome user interface. So let's go to users, Mugu, library, and now you can access application support from here too. I'm going to delete Autodesk because I don't need that specific folder anymore. And I'm also gonna delete Epic. Then we can go into applications and here's another Autodesk. I'm gonna delete that one too. And just click review and remove, delete permanently and delete. It's that easy. This takes around 20 seconds too. And now you can see I have 171 used gigs. and around 65 gigs of system data. So we did delete quite a lot. And not only from system data, from applications too. So I went from this to this in five minutes. We just saved 40 gigs of storage. And you're probably wondering, why can't we delete all system data? The problem is the more you use your Mac, the more system data you're gonna accumulate. Cause every software you use, uses system data. That's caches, cookies, but you can regularly clean those using one of the three methods I just showed you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.